first thing we need to do is navigate to the bottom left of the screen and select Setup. Now we need to verify we have the correct crop and variety filled out. Now we need to scroll down and click OK. Navigate to the bottom right and select Menu. Now go up to Calibrations and Procedures. Under Harvest, select Active Yield. Under Active Yield, make sure the master switch is turned on, and then navigate to the bottom right and view your status indicator. If your status indicator is green, that means the system is working and we need to start harvesting to collect samples. Our number of samples collected will be displayed here, and the time the last accepted sample has been collected will be right below that. As you collect more samples, the quality bar will start to increase. Once the quality bar is at four bars, we want to do a manual check. We do a manual check by comparing our grain cart weight to the combine weight. You can get to the combine weight by closing this window and your calibrations and selecting applications. Then we need to scroll down to work totals. Now we want to select the load totals. We can compare our load total to our grain cart weight. If these values are off, we can come back into machine settings and calibrations and navigate to active yield. Once you're in active yield, come to the top of the screen and select the up arrow with the dot. Most of the time you will not need a correction value, but if you do, this is where you can enter it. If you change varieties, or for some reason, your crop totals seem to be off, you can always start by clicking the reset button. The reset button will clear all your totals that you have collected, and it will start calibrating from scratch. That is all there is to active yield. If you have any other questions or concerns, make sure to get a hold of us at Leading Edge Equipment.